And welcome ladies and gentlemen to part 31 of the Pokemon Gold walkthrough where we get back into doing some more stats because we are finally now headed to a new route. Welcome everybody to route number 44, a very, um, another one that's really simple going. You just go through, you fight the seven gym, uh, gym leaders, wow. My brain's not all here today. You, you, fight, you fight the seven trainers that you go against. There is no... Um, there's one patch of grass to go through. However, it's in the middle, right in between two lakes. And that's the only one. So you literally have to surf your way in order to encounter wild Pokemon. So really, this is just a little, you know, go against a couple trainers before heading into basically the ice cave is what it's known as. So as the battles go on, and yes, I am using Quagsire at first because... Um, at level 35, he learns Earthquake, one of the best, if not the best, ground-type move in the game, even today, pretty much. And, you know, be, that's the main reason why you pick him up, you know, his part ground-type. Get, getting Earthquake is one of the biggest things you can get out of Quagsire. But anyways, looking into the stats we get, not really too much to go um, as far as stat-wise goes because, you know, the grass is only one area. You know, you gotta really want to go out your way to get these special types. Um, crystal version, you can get yourself a polywag um, at 30% chance at night, and still in the crystal version only, a polywhirl, 10% uh, chance at night. Uh, gold, silver, crystal, bell sprout, 20% all times of the day. Uh, gold and silver, um, weep, uh, weep and bell, 35% chance throughout the whole entire day, with a 10% chance in the crystal version for weep and bell. Lickitung in the gold and silver version, 15% all across the day. And Lickitung in a uh, crystal version, 40% morning, afternoon, no chance at night. And then finally in all three versions of Tangela, 30% all throughout the day. You know, so basically Lickitung and Tangela are two of the two basically the the difference makers within this um, route that you're going through. And um, getting yourself a Weeping Bell if you, you, know, if you really want to. You know, there's nothing wrong with Weeping Bell, but it's just definitely not one of the best sides, especially getting as, you know, going in against our eighth gym leader, and hopefully, it, well, probably not in the very next episode, because we have to go through the Ice Cave first, but one after that, you know, going against the Dragon type gym leader, then the Elite Four after that, you know, Weeping Bell is basically one that you would want to use when going against friends. Anyways, um, while surfing within the two lakes that you have, um... Chances for all three versions of the game, Poliwag 90% chance, and a Poliwhirl 10% chance. Fishing, Old Rod, um, all throughout the game, Poliwag 15% chance all across the board, Magikarp 85% chance, Good Rod, Poliwag 65% chance, Magikarp 35% chance, Super Rod, Poliwag 70% chance, 20% chance it's a Magikarp, and in the Gold and Silver versions, 10% chance it's a Remoraid. So, you know, you get you got a little chance to get yourself a Remoraid that I believe goes into what they call, I think it's, I think it's actually called, um, Octa, it's Octa something, it's the Octopus type, um, I think, I don't know, I'm about to look into that before I say any more. And then, of course, you got your usual headbutts, um, 80% uh, chance to get a Sparrow, Gold, Silver version, Crystal version has 50% chance Ekans, 20% chance Execute, 65% chance Hoot Hoot, and then back to Gold and Silver, 20% um, chance is in Apom. And then, let's uh, see here, and then you, if you ever get the call for Swarms in the Gold and Silver version, um, Remoraids, um, can, depending on you get okay so basically yeah 15% chance it'll be at level 10 65% chance it'll be level 20 this is 100% chance it'll be level 40 so there you go and Remoraid I know he does evolve I believe it's into the octopus type but I just want to make sure before I keep talking yes it does Octillery again another pretty good type it's a water poison I believe because the fact that it's an octopus I am double checking that just to make sure no it is, is not it is a water type only um, evolves from Remoraid at level 25. As far as move goes, I have no idea, and I'm not really going to go that far deep into what Octillery can learn. Just, you know, l look it up if you're really that interested. I never really was. Didn't seem like he really had any any big stats that really jumped out. Uh, Joey, young, uh, Youngster Joey giving us a call telling us that he almost caught himself a dang Metapod so close. Boy, does he suck. <laughs> That's really that all can be said. 
Uh, not them as, and that's really it as far as stat goes again, because this is such a very straightforward path that's just supposed to give you a few trainers to go against before going into the ice cave. You know, not really, not really too much out of your way. And again, this it seems like you know we're starting because we've already faced the seventh gym leader. We've completed Team Rocket. All we have is Gym Eight, and to go against the Elite Four. The game's pretty much in the sense that, okay, you probably by now already have your, you know, six Pokemon team. And so now it's just basically going out of your way to do collecting for the whole entire Pokedex, which is where this area comes in, you know. Tangela, uh, Lickitung, Weeping Bell, Bellsprout, not really ones that people go too far out of their way to try and get as far as I know. I could be completely wrong. You know, it could be that maybe Lickitung, Tangela, or Weeping Bell are probably like one of the best competitive Pokemon out there and I'm just not aware of it. You know, I, I mean, I enjoy Pokemon and all, but I don't really go too far in my way to do it competitively all that much. Especially living in a state like Wyoming, there's really not too, too many places you can go to for something like that. And being a 22-year-old, it's a little creepy. Um, I'd much rather just battle, you know, some of my older friends that I know keep that also keep playing it. But again, it's more like, you know... Hey, you want to go out of your way, you know, to get the Pokedex 100%, you know, here's your Lickitung, here's your Tangela, here's your Weeping Bell, Bellsprout, Poliwhirl, Poly Whirl, you know, it's basically like, hey, here, pick up, pick up the ones that you haven't gotten just yet, that's only for the Pokedex, because more than likely, you have your full team already set up for you. So that's basically what that is. As far as like item wise goes, you know, I've already picked up the burnt berry and the little patch you can get there. There's a max revive you can get that's going to be in the very middle of the lake along with an ultra ball um, on, above the fissure that we're going against right now. And then there is another, um, an elixir that's basically hidden. Fuck yeah, CK! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, inside. Basically, um, inside the patch of grass right next to where we end up getting the max revive. And, uh, you know, again, this patch of grass, I mean, it's only by, by how many, how many spaces in it? I'd estimate about a good five to six spaces, uh, lengthwise and then heightwise only about two. Like I said, something too big. You know, again, this area is just basically straightforward. All it is is trainers. That's the majority of what we're aiming at going against is trainers. And because of which, this part doesn't really take that long. We have this trainer. We get the last two items within the center. We have one more trainer to go against. And that's basically it. Then we'll be entering the ice cave, which will be saved for the next part. And thank God, too, because of the fact that, obviously, you know, with the whole entire quest going against Team Rocket and all, uh, we, we've, you know, the, a lot of a lot of parts have been going, you know, above 15 minutes, my usual where I want to be at, and now I'm th this one I believe takes somewhere between nine to ten minutes, so now it's a little bit under, you know, with a game like this, you know, trying to get it to a decent length time-wise, because with uh, Visual Boy Advance when you try and record using it, uh, um, I'm not exactly sure what the exact number is, but I found if I ever go, I believe it's above 17 minutes of recording on it, then random battle. It's a bell sprout. We're just going to run away from it anyways, and I don't even bother. I don't even feel like editing any of that out. Um, what was I talking about? Um, I completely spaced again on what it was I was talking about. Nope, I do not remember. That is seriously how bad my memory can be, where it just doesn't take that long for my brain to completely die out on exactly what it was I was thinking of that I was talking about. And I really do think I do have a bit of a small, short-term memory loss. I remember now. Okay. Which is good, because I don't really have that much... Uh, much more time. Basically, Visual Boy Advance, um, uh, from what I believe, it's somewhere between 16 to 18 minutes, where if you go beyond that, the the um, the memory size of the video that you are recording becomes so big that it actually kind of messes up on itself. And I've heard it, I've heard it um, does this, like, uh, it's not just my computer, it does this against other computers as well. Um, as far as what it does, I guess that varies on the computer. What mine does is not because this is a like, like a 50 gigabyte you know, video that's only like 16 to 18 minutes long. Um, the very first like four minutes will be all spazzed out and whatnot. You know, some people might remember me bringing that up when I was going, um, doing my introduction of the Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury walkthrough almost two years ago. And, you know, so because of that, you know, I got to keep in mind of, you know, how much I do record and I, you know, try and keep it again event wise. So there you go. 
I seriously I cannot believe that my memory, like I said, I do believe I have some bad short-term memory, but it's whatever. But that's all that we have for today's video, folks. Up next is going to be the Ice Cave.